going on everybody it's Poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over all 32 stadium home field advantage as well as the side advantages guys now as you guys do know in madden 22 the beta if you guys have not already known every stadium is going to come stock with a home field advantage as well as side advantages which is pretty cool right so i really like this because in all the years of madden you play home you play away and quite honestly no one ever really cared right so you're in a franchise your week 17, you secure the first round by. Playoffs are going through you. But no one really cares at the end of the day because, quite honestly, it doesn't affect anything. At the All it does is give you the bye because playing your home stadium doesn't mean anything. People will still rock you there. They'll still scramble on you. They'll still score on you. They'll still beat your ass in your home stadium, right? This year, they made it realistic. Now, this is actually pretty cool, in my opinion, because the issue with, like, the game, right? A lot of animation-based, you know, one-handed grabs, things you can't control. The home field advantage is something you kind of can control, right? It's very simple and clear. When you play in Lambeau, it's colder. Teams have issues in real life, right? In Chicago, the Windy City, field goal kickers have issues. In um, Seahawks, the, the 12th man, the stadium gets crazy. Sometimes you can't hear the hot routes, right? That's realistic stuff. Now, that's not animation-based, which is why I kind of like it. I think it's going to be a nice change of pace from everything being animation-based. So it's going to be more, that's mental, right? So you're out there, right? You're running your favorite plays. You're killing someone. They, they get a pick on you. The momentum changes, and suddenly you have to worry about momentum changes right and now suddenly they, they they have so much momentum that they're able to throw off your hot route so now you gotta no matter how good you are at the game mentally you're not challenged you have to worry about your hot routes and making sure things are set up properly this adds a mental element to the game that wasn't always there i was able to mindlessly you could run like you know let's say in mud right you can mindlessly run your one play and your setup all game and you don't have to think you just run it and, and your players that are 99 overalls will do their thing so this is why it's super cool for this to be this way now guys before we get into the rest of the video hopefully you guys do go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you are new, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite home team advantage is or what is your home team, right? So let me know down below. Now let's start, guys. So we're going to start with the New York Giants, which is my home team, of course. And I'm starting halfway through and then I'm going to work my way back. So the Giants, so everyone has a home field advantage, right? That's the one that's individual, unique to the home stadium. And the other two are like the side pieces, right? That other, I think other stadiums can have. But New York Giants have turf war. Away team fatigues faster. So when you verse the Giants, guys, you're going like if you're versing the Giants by the fourth quarter, your team's gonna be way too more tired. Your um, your running back may only be able to run two runs in a row before he wants to sit out. Your wide receiver may be gassed and fair by the second run, which is super realistic in real life. You know, by the fourth quarter, you're tired. Now, why is that specific to the Giants stadium? I'm not entirely sure, but it's still cool. Then they have hold the line, which is like the side piece, the other ones that you get, you know, down the line. Home team has improved blocking, which is cool as well. And like a book, home team defense can see the primary receiver's hot route via coach camp. So pretty much, guys. If they hot route, or, like, so you can't see the play, but if they hot route the receiver to a streak and the other receiver to a slant and tight end to a drag, you can see the hot route. So you can see all that. So if you're versing the guy who likes the hot route to death, right, you're going to see a lot of stuff. Next, guys, we do have the next one, which is going to be the Jaguars. Jaguars have Duval, which is their first one. Home team gets bonus momentum and on touchdown. So if they score a touchdown, your momentum boost is probably going to shoot up, right? So you're pretty much able to clear most of the momentum just by scoring which is a very big advantage if you're a jacksonville jaguar kind of guy and you're gonna have trevor lawrence it's gonna be fun you got um scatterbrained or whatever away team offensive play uh can be incorrect offensive play play art can be incorrect so yeah let's say you call you call slants you may come out it may look like four verticals you know you called slants but the play art will look wrong so he's gonna be all glitched out and it's meant i guess for a quarterback forgetting what play he called or wide receivers not remember didn't hear the play properly so they're kind of confused it's pretty cool um away and then there's the third one checked out away team quarterback has trouble seeing check down receivers so guys who are your check down routes you may not be able to see their uh, icons or something like that right so that that's pretty cool as well um again can it be annoying it will be but it's going to be fun so next with the jets the jets have turf war as well they have the same stuff as the giants i'm not going to go over that same stuff as the giants were because of course it's still metlife stadium it's specific to the stadium um, next, we have the Lions. Home team accelerates slightly faster. Now, that's a physical advantage, which is kind of interesting. So if you're the Lions, which I don't know how many people will be the Lions, but if you're the Lions stadium, you'll get a home team accelerate slightly faster, which means, you know, if DeAndre Swift has a 92 acceleration, maybe it's going to feel like a 94. Maybe it'll feel like a 93. Either way, it's going to be pretty interesting to see. Next, we have coverage crisis. Away team has trouble with coverage. And then we have hot hands. Again, uh, hot home team has improved catching. Packers. Momentum games are... Momentum gains are increased for the home team and decreased for the away team. Go Pack Go. So pretty much the Packers are going to always be leading the momentum. Like So you throw a pick, your momentum bar drops in half. Packers throw a pick and only drops a quarter. 
All right, so you're gonna have to work a lot hard to get your momentum up. One little screw up can hurt you a lot more. The Packers can screw up a lot. So they have a pretty big advantage at home. Uh, way team has the pass target highlighted. Okay, so if they're if they're throwing if they have a guy that they're you know they're aiming for or whatever, I don't exactly know how it's gonna work. Maybe they're they're number one, like their their red route, their best route. And then like a book, home team defense can see the primary receivers uh, route via coach cam. Panthers have keep pounding. Home team has more stamina during plays. So that's pretty cool, guys. So you know, you're coming down in the fourth quarter, you're running up Harry up offense, and you're gonna be able to probably you're gonna pound down the field, right? Harry up offense, run the ball at McCaffrey, run the ball, Texas route to McCaffrey, slant to DJ Moore, all the way down the field, and you're gonna have a lot more stamina, which is probably that's actually a pretty cool one. Then they have um, some route one Skeenic route. Primary, uh, primary receivers play art is distorted for the away team. So, yes, that's going to suck too as well. So, pretty much you're calling a slant. It may look like a streak again. And then hot hands, which is improved catching. Um, Patriots have our house. Home team gets bonus momentum on touchdowns and third down stops. So you stop them on third down, right? Force a punt. Even if you don't force a punt, or you just stop them on third down and they go for it, you're getting a big momentum boost. So that's pretty cool as well because a lot of the times you stop people on third down, they just go for it on fourth. So you're able to, sometimes you force two or three third downs in one drive, right? They may convert it, but you're going to get the momentum at least. So it's not always a lost cause when that does happen. Scatterbrained again, which was earlier. So if you don't remember that one, that was uh, the, play, the away team offensive play art can be incorrect. And then we have away team cannot enter the zone, zoned out. So that's horrible. So their players can't get X, like they can't get X factor as long as that's activated. So that's not going to be all game, of course, you know, but still something to think about. Then we have the Raiders just win, baby, while winning home, the winning, wait, while winning home team has increased momentum, uh, gain and fatigue recovery. So if the Raiders are winning, they're going to have increased momentum. They're going to be gaining it really fast and they have increased fatigue recovery. They have instinct. The away team has the pass target highlighted and then checked out which is that the check down receivers uh, will have trouble being seen. Then we have the Los Angeles Rams, Rams house, home team games, bonus momentum on defensive stops. So you get a pick, you get a fumble, third down stop, fourth down punt. You're going to be able to go ahead and just stack a lot of momentum, which is actually pretty cool because then you have coverage crisis, which away team has trouble with coverage, which I wonder if that's going to be like, you know, in real life, you know, when you're running a deep post and they have a the def defense has a lapse in judgment for a second and they blow coverage and the safe the, the safety just doesn't go stay with the lot the guy going deep and they both come down and that guy's wide open i wonder if that's what's going to work and then hot hands which is increased catching baltimore ravens trust the system while winning home team gains momentum on running plays that's crazy that's a crazy one because most people are going to be running with uh with with the baltimore ravens as a team probably doing qb option qb power halfback dive inside zone power so if, if you're running if you're if you're a run first kind of guy with the ravens you're gonna keep that momentum up all game and you know and tip, typically run games are gonna be better anyways for momentum because less turnovers you protect the ball more so that's gonna be crazy if you're at uh you know empty bank stadium away team has trouble with coverage which is high coverage crisis then hot hands again which is increased catching saints have who dat away team receivers can mistakenly get incorrect routes on third and fourth down so that, that's kind of oh, that kind of sucks so on third and fourth down you, you're you know you're, you're hot routing or whatever and they may i don't know if they're going to run the route wrong or if you give them a slant they might run a streak again right so that, that that's 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 messed up i don't like that one that, that's a good one though runners high home team has uh home team has stamina during plays more stamina during plays infinite stamina during plays that's pretty cool home team has improved catching hot hands again seahawks the 12s away team has distorted play art on third and fourth down that's horrible. Again, that's a great one, but it's horrible. So every third and fourth down, your player's not going to look right. Now, again, player's not the end of the world, but I'm a kind of guy that likes to always check my player before I hit hike, make sure I'm in line. Because, you know, one one thing could throw off... I'll throw a pick, right? Literally, if I think it's a post-slant streak combo, and I accidentally put one guy in a stop, if he once he runs a stop, that'll throw off my whole set of reads, right? Not everyone's going to be like that, but I know that will affect someone like me. Then they have prediction problems. Um the ball spot indicator for the away team so it hides the ball spot indicator so wherever the spot of the balls will get rid of that i mean i don't i don't think that's the biggest of issues an, an analyst pro analysis problems away team quarterback uh periodically has trouble seeing receivers i mean realistically that's not a bad one um trouble seeing receivers it is the third one though so it's going to be a lot a lot hard to get but it's, it's a good one next we have terribly distracting away team hot routes have a chance to fail on third down third and fourth down this is for the pittsburgh steelers so away team's hot routes have a chance to fail on third and fourth down so that means like you're calling a streak or slant it may not work your hot routes just may not work so you might be stuck with the route you're stuck with so you, you call you know sometimes people call a random play and they're gonna hot route it may not work and then there's hotter routes home team can hot route faster and then there's nerves some of the away team's icons are hidden in pre-play 
so you won't know what your receiver's icon is till after so if it's x a b you may not see that so you call hike and then be like oh and quickly have to you know adjust so hopefully you know hopefully you don't let them get all that way up then we have the houston texans the bullpen away team gains less momentum for touchdown so that's pretty cool you know it'll keep them slow it'll slow down the rate at which they can really build the momentum hotter routes just like the steelers uh home team can get uh can hot route faster and then some of the away teams icons are hidden in pre-play which is nerves again the first one i say for every stadium is there the other ones are just like the extra ones these are generic ones tighten up for the titans home team has improved blocking and avoids holding penalties so that's cool so you know you're running with derrick henry you're not gonna be getting holding penalties and that's the generic one so you're gonna be looking at a very very disciplined game on the line front as well as good blocking then hold the line home team has improved blocking again and then you have home team defense can see the primary receivers route which is like a book um we have the vikings they have skull home team is slightly faster in the red zone that's kind of crazy you know you get in the red zone suddenly your receivers are going to be able to make quicker you know qu you know quicker breaks off people running backs gonna be able to reach the outside and outside zones quicker that's pretty cool another physical one coverage crisis away team has trouble with coverage and then zoned in home team players partic participating in touchdowns or takeaways enter the zone so a pick a touchdown anything you're automatically you're automatically x factor I wonder if, uh, if a quarterback throws to receiver, would that be double X factor for both of them? We'll have to see. Chicago Bears, bear down. Away team's kick meter moves faster on the downswing, so it'll be like, you know, it goes up, and on the way down, it'll just fly down, right? Which is going to throw people off, really throw off people's muscle memory, and of course, that is realistic. Chicago's the windy city. We got scatterbrained offensive player art can be incorrect. Away team quarterback has trouble seeing non check down receivers, so again, checked out. Um, then we got Bengals, who day? no huddle results and reduced clock runoff that's actually cool so in this past madden i kind of hated it when you need to hurry up like you could literally lose like 15 to 20 seconds and it was pointless right i would lose so much time I've, I've, I've lost games doing hurry up and running right to zero so this means that they could probably get it done in like maybe 10 seconds they get there quicker so you could probably run a lot of plays on a quick you know two minute drill then you got runners high home team has infinite infi infinite stamina during plays and you have hot hands home team has improved catching buffalo bills downwind away team's kicking art moves erratic kicking arc moves erratically so like I think before the play, like that kicking meter, like going in, it's like this. It's just shaking the whole time. That's going to suck. Hotter routes. Home team can hot route faster. Then we got nerves again, which is uh, receiver icons are hidden in pre-play. Bengal, uh, Bronco, sorry. Mile high city. Away team has less stamina during plays. So away team has less stamina during plays. So that's going to be, it's realistic because in Denver, the, there's, you know, the higher elevation, the air is a bit thinner, I believe it is, something like that. So they, they struggle breathing there sometimes. You know, oftentimes people get like a little ventilator or something or like the, um, the air mask. So that's cool so that means like you know you you run the ball back to back you may not see your running back in for another you know, you know another set of downs you um you have two big plays with your wide receiver they may need to sit out for a play or two even your quarterback may start to feel winded you have skinic route route uh receivers play art is distorted for the away team and you have hot hands home team is improved catching cleveland browns dog pound dog, away team's hot routes have a chance to fail in the red zone so that's gonna be annoying you know you're in the red zone you have your play right you come in on quick slant you always you always swing the one guy and then drag the other guy they may not work then you have runner's high which is going to be infinite uh, stamina running plays and then analysis paralysis which is a waiting quarterback periodically has trouble seeing his receivers that's probably gonna be their icons which just sucks uh buccaneers fire the cannons home team recovers fatigue upon entering the red zone so that's pretty cool you know you're, you you get into the red zone right you just ran like five plays in a row your running backs keeled over you get into the red zone you're like you know that's the worst too right you get into the red zone now you're, you've been running all day and he has to go out and now you got to pass because you're the backup running backs not good instead once you get in the red zone they recover the fatigue ready to go again or vice versa you gotta waste the time out to get him back then you have shook offensive play art is distorted for the home team and then tunnel vision some of the away team's receiver icons are hidden during pre-play we got the um the cardinals rise up red sea home team gains momentum faster just naturally pretty cool hotter routes home team can hot route faster and then nerves some receivers are hidden in pre-play then we got the chargers bolt up home team gains bonus momentum for yardage gains that's pretty cool crossed wires away team receivers can receive incorrect hot routes and then like a book home team can see primary receiver route uh, via coach camp the chiefs home of the chiefs away team audibles have a chance to fail so you know 10 seconds left in the play clock you you see it gets a good running lane you switch to run it may not let them run it may, it may keep them in the pass play then you got shook offensive play art is distorted for the away team and then tunnel vision some of the away teams receiver icons are hidden during pre-play colts hack count home team defense and see the hack count via coach cam and then runners high infinite stamina during plays and then analysis paralysis again they quarterback has trouble seeing his receivers again these all go against and remember the other team can get them too right it's not just the home team only the first one only the home team can get right that's hack count 
I believe. And then um, for the uh, Cowboys, you have deflected. Away team punt distance is shortened when kicking across the 50. So that's pretty cool. I guess they'll have, you know, less trouble, less trouble pinning you, or more trouble pinning you. Then they have Skeenic route. Uh, receivers play artists is sort of for the away team. And then hot hands improve catching. Dolphins made in the shade. Home team fatigue slower. That's pretty cool as well. Iced out. All way field goal. PAT kicks use the iced kicker effect. That's kind of annoying. That's annoying at all times. Ice kicker. Home team has improved catching again. Philadelphia Eagles linked in. While winning, momentum gains are increased for the home team and decreased for the away team. Skeenic route. Receivers play artists is sorted for the away team and hot hands improved catching again. Um, Falcons rise up. Home team gains momentum while on offense. That, so just being on offense, you know, you, so if you if you master time possession, you'll be rocking your momentum up all the way. Lockdown, home team has improved coverage and rattled receiver. Away team has trouble catching. That's annoying. Uh, Washington football team on stable ground. Away team has increasingly hard time changing directions because they, you know, they play like on the dirt field. So if they try to like, you know, do a stop and go, they try to juke left. They're going to be slower. They're going to be slipping up. They may get like real, you know, real slow, real fast. Pretty cool. Iced out as well. So all away kicks are use the ice, uh, the ice kicker meter and hot hands improve catch. So that's going to be a hard place to play. Um, San Francisco 49ers unstable ground as well. Away team has an increasingly hard time changing directions. Iced out and rattled receivers, similar to the Washington football team. Hey guys, that, that's about it. That is going to be every single team. I believe I covered all 32. Comment down below, what is your favorite one that you heard? I personally think Unstable Ground's pretty cool. I think the, uh, you know, Windy City, the, the one for the Bills in Chicago was pretty cool. There's a few cool ones, guys, but let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what's your home team, which team are you rocking with based on these. I don't think I'll play based on, like, you know, if, if much, you could, you could just pick, right? But in, in terms of, like, franchise, I won't pick my team based on these, but I will be excited to know that my team has a good one. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to see any more Madden 22 news, smash the like button. I will have more. I'll be coming. I'll have the pros and cons of the Madden 22 beta thus far. I'll have my first thoughts. I'll have the franchise video on Monday. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.